To make our hinge, we're first going to make the internal barrel. The way we're going to do that is taking some A4 paper, turn it at 45 degrees. This part is going to be rolled all the way along to make a very tight cylinder. To do that, I'm going to take the paper in my thumb and index finger and I'm going to pinch it and roll it forward. We're trying to create a really tight curl at the beginning. Do this backwards and forwards two or three times and you'll see I've got a relatively tight curl. When it's tight, you push it on the table and you're going to roll it forward with your finger. Then move on to both hands, even pressure either side. That will stop it from spreading out. I want to keep this as tight as we can get it. Go about that far. And you'll see we've got one uniform tight cylinder. We don't need all this part. So I'm going to trim that off. When you've got it trimmed off, roll it up, get it as tight as you can. And then we're going to attach these sides down with tape. One side first. We're going to cut through this tape, so you want to make sure that it's spread evenly. Doesn't matter what type of tape you've got, I'm using parcel tape just because it's easier for you to see it on the camera compared to the clear tape. And then when that's wrapped round, that's not going to open up. I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to trim one end off, don't go too far in. I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to trim the other end off. Try and get it just a bit longer than your index finger. So I'll go to about there. We're going to trim this a bit later, but that's the inside of your barrel. So in step one we made the inside barrel, we now need to make the outside barrel, the part that's going to allow it to twist. I've taken a piece of A4 paper and cut it in half, we don't need all the A4 paper. I'm then going to put my internal piece on the inside and I'm going to use it to roll the outer piece around. Try and do this as neatly as you can and try and keep it as straight as you can. You want to try and get these edges so they haven't got parts pulling out. It needs to be quite flat. Again, the tighter the roll, the better the outcome at the end. Hold it tight, close it up, and again, take your tape. This time, I want you to tape in the middle. And fold it down. I then want you to tape on the outside pieces. We aren't going to use all this, um, all this outside piece. You are going to trim it down again because your hinge has a barrel in the centre and two outside pieces. But it's easier to make it longer now to change its shape later on. Um, the last part you need to do here is take the internal shaft out to allow us to cut it down. Uh, and all you need to do is get something long and thin. I've got a screwdriver to hand which works well. Push it down and you'll notice the inside part come out. And the way it's going to work is that inside part is going to turn along the outside. So the idea is you have two, one part, uh, piece of cardboard on the outside, one on the inside and it locks up. So at the end of this task you should have an internal barrel and an external barrel. Right, step three, a little bit of measuring comes in here. I'm going to neaten this up. So I'm going to have um, an internal barrel at 100 millimeters. 10 centimeters so I'm going to mark on here with my pen take my scissors and cut it down to 100 millimeters it is going to be quite tough to cut through I've got quite a few layers of paper there so that's the right length for my barrel I now need to create two outer pieces that are almost equidistant so we're looking at about 30 millimeters each so I'm going to trim the end just to make sure I've got a good point to start with there's my zero I'm going to take my rule and I'm going to mark on 30 and I'm going to put another mark at 60. So you can see here from this one piece I could probably make two or three hinges. So I'm going to cut my first part off, try and stay as close to the line and as straight as you can. I might ping away. So you can see there because I've got tape all the way around it's kept its form, kept its shape. So I'm going to find my next line at another 60. 
I'm going to cut that out to give it a little roll to make it come back into its original shape and then that will slide over one end like that and slide over that end like that it should be a snug fit so what we've got there is two ends that rotate so we'll have one part of the hinge here which will move up and down and one part of the hinge on here that will stay separate so step four we're now going to create the two hinges that are going to join them together so effectively your barrels go in the center and your hinges are going to move up and down like that to create this I've put my piece of uh, hinge on the left hand side of some card it's 100 millimeters long so I made a square piece 100 by 100 what I'm then going to do is put a mark just on the inside of the barrel on one side just on the inside barrel of the other so I've got two marks one here and one there for good practice you should be trying to work out the equidistant part so that's 35 millimeters down so I'm going to put a mark on this side at 35 so now when I join them up I know that these are going to be parallel with the part at the outside there's one line there the next one that's 35 so again we're going to put another mark at 35 you're then going to join them together so we're going to have these two parts are going to attach to the outside of the barrel this part is going to attach to the middle but we're going to have two separate pieces we need half this about 50 millimeters 100 mm in total, mark at 50, mark at 50, join them together. There we go. Now you can cut this out with your scissors. I've got standard scissors. I'm using corrugated card, which is a bit thicker than uh, maybe cereal box card. Both work fine. For this, I'm going to use a craft knife. Um, you can get these from the pound shop with craft boards for, for a pound, obviously. I'm going to cut through. Do it slowly a couple of times to make sure you've got all the way through and it cracks off. So now we're going to bond these together in the next video. So the final part of this is the assembly. We've got our three pieces with our internal barrel, external barrel and the brackets that go onto it. You'll notice that I've cut out a T-shape here. That's to make it easy to sit against the inner barrel and it doesn't foul on the outer barrels whereas this one sits flat it's going to join to the outside so your first step is to get a piece of tape you put that on the inside there of the T turn it upside down take your barrel you want to have it so that both outer parts of the barrel are equidistant on either side and then you pull that tape in and you'll notice that the internal barrel doesn't move but the external parts they do this next part's a bit fiddly so now that the inside's joined you're going to slide this barrel so it's sticking up but it's not come off and they're going to take some tape I'm going to wrap it on there but don't close it up leave it open and slide the barrel back in do the same for the other side so you're not taking the barrel off you're just opening it out take a piece of tape that again goes on just over halfway like that slide it back down now I should be able to get my final piece of uh, card the other side of the hinge I'm gonna push it against the barrel try and keep it equidistant so it's the same level here and I'll push that bit of tape down and I'm going to do the same here so it's equidistant nice and flat push that down lock it into place and then hopefully we have a hinge that will open up and it's very very solid 